For months now, we've been tracking the spread of COVID-19 from its first emergence in Wuhan, China, all the way through to today, where countries like the US, Brazil, Russia, the United Kingdom and Spain seem to be the most impacted by the virus so far. And as the virus spreads, we continue to see the impact it leaves in its wake. Currently in excess of 6 million confirmed cases and 370,000 deaths, not even including those other unnecessary deaths that the virus has caused. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how we got here. And as we enter a new month, see how the virus has been spreading since January 21st, when the virus was only just beginning to emerge all the way through to the end of May. All of the data you're about to see comes directly from the World Health Organization, and therefore from the individual nations themselves. Now, let me beat you to the comments and say that we've already made a video discussing if national data can be trusted, specifically discussing the situation with China's data. We've already discussed if the World Health Organization can be trusted in another video, and we've made one even discussing if international comparisons like this one are fair. So no need to retread old ground, and you can check out those videos if you're interested. So without any further ado, let's take a look at the bar chart race and see how the virus has spread throughout 2020 so far. With the virus starting in China, all of the early deaths appeared within the country before starting to spread around the world. February 16th saw the first European death in France. In the beginning of March, Iran and Italy began to emerge as the two most affected countries in these early stages. And as time goes on, you'll see Italy remain towards the top while Iran slips away. The middle of March saw a major surge in Italy, and with China's death rate stagnating, Italy quickly became the country with the highest death toll. Around the same time, other European nations, most notably Spain, France and the UK, also began to see death tolls surge. At the beginning of April, the extent of the virus's hold in the US also became obvious, with the country rapidly catching up with the European nations which had once suffered the most. That was until April 14th, when the US became the country with the highest death toll in the world. The countries on this list don't change all that much from this point through to today, with the top of the table dominated by European countries. The UK continues to rise, but on the whole the list looks pretty consistent, with deaths rising across the board, although the US does continue to see deaths at a higher rate than almost any other country, really pushing the scale of this graph forward. It's also worth noting the rise of Brazil at this point. Having only entered the top 10 on the 30th of April, the country rapidly sees cases increase throughout May. Mexico also sees a similarly alarming rise towards the end of the month. And this is where the world stands at the end of May. With the virus continuing to take more lives around the world, it's important to see how countries are reacting so that nations can learn from each other's mistakes. We've made videos on a variety of countries' approaches. Some of them are linked down below. But if you want us to cover another country who you think has done especially well or poorly, then do let us know. And you should know that we're already contemplating one on the surge in Brazil. Like this video and comment below which countries you think we should examine next. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we release a video. You can also find more from us across all social networks simply by searching for TLDR News. Special thanks to our Patreon backers who make videos like this one possible.